Amigos, welcome to the School of Motion Graphics. My name is CM De La Vega. We have another exciting tutorial today and it's based on work that I did this week for Telemundo and it's creating a montage slideshow. You can use images, you can use video. It's pretty simple to set up. I'm gonna show you all the steps and don't forget to check out the book that I wrote on how to get started in motion graphics and make money. It's available on Amazon. But for now, let's go to the tutorial. Let's get started, let's import our images. Hit Control I and let's import this Marvel's logo and let's import again hit control I let's go up and let's select all of these images now for this tutorial we're going to be using images but like you saw in the example I use videos so amigos you can use a combination of videos images or one or the other now let's create a folder and call it Avengers and let's select all of these and let's put it inside the folder perfect now let's create a new composition Click on this icon to create a new composition and let's call this montage slide show. We'll make it 1920 by 1080. We'll make it 29.97 frames per second and we'll make it 20 seconds long. Now let's create a new solid and let's make it a little bit off white. Hit OK. Perfect. Now let's create another composition and this one we'll call it Iron Man. We'll make it the same exact settings as we did for our montage slideshow. So don't change anything. Hit OK. And the first step is let's create a shape layer. So let's go up to your shape layers and we'll select the rounded rectangle tool and double click. Make sure you double click. One, two. Perfect. And it'll create a shape layer, a rectangle, the size of your composition. Now let's drill down to the rectangle and let's, re let's drill down to rectangle path one. And where you see roundness, let's dial it up to about 65. And if you can see here, as we go up, it'll round the corners for us. So actually, let's go to 100. Let's keep it at 100. Perfect. Now, let's call this, if you hit enter on the keyboard, we can rename it. Hit enter and call it mask. Nice. Now, let's go to the Avengers and let's go to Iron Man. And let's bring it down. And we're going to use a track mat. And if you don't see the track mat, amigos, it's because you have this turned off. So click on the middle icon here, expand or collapse the transfer controls pane. Click on it. And you'll see the track mat function. So go to Iron Man, select it, and go to Alpha Matte Mask. Now, the image is small, so we need to scale it up. Hit S for scale. And let's scale it all the way up. And now the cool thing is if we move the image or the video, and in, in your case, you can have a video, the mask will still will stay the same. So it's really cool. That's perfect. We're done. Now, what we're going to do is to make this a faster process, we're going to make a copy of all these comps. So make a copy of Iron Man, Control D, and hit enter, and let's call it Black Widow. Now click on Black Widow, and all we're going to do is simply swap it with the Iron Man JPEG. So holding on to Alt on your keyboard, Alt, then, then drag and drop and hit S for scale, and we're gonna scale this one down a little bit. There you go, perfect. And let's go back to Black Widow, the comp, hit Control D, and let's call this Captain America. Double click on it, go to the Black Widow JPEG, go back to your Avengers folder, and go to Captain America, the JPEG, and again, holding on to Alt, we're gonna swap it out with a Black Widow, and hit S for scale, you can always scale it the size that you want, and you can always move it. So amigos, we're gonna repeat this process for all of them, so let's fast forward through this process. Okay, so we're done with these. Let's create a new folder, and let's call these comps. And all of our comps, let's put it in this folder so we have something very neat and organized. Perfect, and this one we can make it a green color so we know this is our main, we can call this final montage slideshow. Perfect, and let's close all of these little comps. Now let's go to your final montage slideshow and let's bring in our first comp and let's bring in Iron Man. Let's move it up and 
turn on snapping and hit Y for the anchor point. And once we have Y, we can move the anchor point and let's move it all the way down to the bottom. Perfect. And let's take off snapping and let's turn on the 3D switch and make it a 3D layer and hit S for scale and let's scale it down to about 40%. And what we can do is we can move it here. Let's make another copy, control D and let's swap it with Black Widow. And let's move it over here. And then select both layers and hit R for rotation. And then for Iron Man, for the Y rotation, we're going to give it minus 25. And for Black Widow, we're going to give it positive 25. You can select both comps. And you can kind of center it in the middle. Perfect. Now let's create a draw, let's create a shadow. Not a shadow, I'm sorry, amigos. Let's create a reflection for these. Now there's two ways to create a reflection. One you can use it. One, you can use a free plugin, which I recommend from Video Copilot. And another one, you can do it manually. I'll show you both methods. Uh, for Black Widow, for example, hit Control D, go R for rotation, and for the Z rotation, let's go to 180. And hit T for opacity. We can dial it down a little bit, the opacity. We can blur it a little bit. Let's go to blur. You can use Gaussian blur, maybe five pixels, maybe a little bit more, 10. Can even go higher 20 and we can go to effect transition linear wipe and the wipe angle go to 180 and let's bring it up here and let's feather it about 200 pixels so that's a that's one way you can do it manually amigos so you can basically just creating a copy and flipping it over creating a heavy feather, but you put a little bit of blur and you dial down the opacity, you can create a reflection. Now I said there's a free plugin from Video Copilot and it's called VC Reflect. You can download it, it's easy to install it, and it's it's a lot better, it's a lot easier. And for the blur type, I'm gonna use fall off. And for the blur amount, I'm gonna use two. And for the reflection distance, the let's see, we can move it about here. And the opacity, we can dial it down a little bit, maybe 75. So that's looking pretty good. And I like it. And the cool thing is we can always click on the effect, hit Control C, and go to Iron Man, and hit Control V, and we can paste it. And it'll be right there. So as you can see, we don't have any ground, but just adding that reflection, it kind of creates that ground for us. And remember, this is just a, the background is a 2D layer, and these two comps are 3d layers so what we're going to do amigos is let's create a copy of these two comps hit control d and let's move it up if you hit if you hold on to control and the bracket you can move these up let's change the color so it's easier for us to follow and let's just swap these comps so instead of black widow we'll make it we'll make it hawkeye and instead of iron man we'll make it captain america so they're right on top of each other, so we need to move them. So let's switch our camera, our view, to from active camera. Let's switch it to the top view. And simply using the arrows on your keyboard, we can move it. So with the arrow, the down arrow on your keyboard and holding on to shift, we can move it. So let's space it out. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's about 12, 12 down, and that's looking good. Do a little bit more. One, two. Okay. We're gonna do the same thing again. So let's do this. Actually, amigos, let me show you something. What we want to do is, as the camera pulls back, we go to custom view one. You can see what we have so far. We're gonna create a whole bunch of these different. We'll create several of these, and we'll have the camera go from all the way from here and move back. So let's create, let's move these at two seconds. So let's move these layers at two seconds. And let's go back to your active camera. What we want to do is now we want to animate these panels, animate coming from the side into its current position. So hit P for position. Let's put a keyframe. And we're going to make it 15 seconds long. Put another keyframe. And these ones, we can right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease in. And what we're going to do is this one, using the arrows on your keyboard, let's just move it out of frame. Perfect. Let's do the same thing. 
perfect. So they'll move in. Obviously, we're not moving the camera at this moment. We will in a second, but we're just adding this little movement in. Now let's do this. Now let's grab these two layers and hit Control D. Let's move it up. Let's change the color. Let's make it green. Let's go to four seconds. Let's move it over. Now, right now they're on top. They're going to be right on top of each other. Let's switch it. So instead of Hawkeye, we'll make it Hulk. And instead of Captain America, let's make it Thor. Cool. But they're on top of each other and we have to move it. So let's switch our view from active camera to top. Now, here's the thing. Let's select these two new layers. Hit U to reveal the keyframes. Now, we move it, amigos. You see what it's creating? It's creating another keyframe. So it's going to create this movement for us. And we don't want that. So let's hit delete on the keyframes. We want to move this, but pres preserve the keyframe, the, the animation that we had moving basically from the edges off the screen into the screen. And there's a little trick that we can use that I, I use all the time. Let's create a new null object and let's call it temp. Let's move it. Let's make it, um, let's make it green for now so you can see. And let's make it a 3D layer. Let's go to your top view and let's select Hulk and Thor and we're going to parent it to our temp null object. And what we're going to do, amigos, is we're going to select the temp null object. Remember, it's a 3D layer and it's and the Hulk and Thor are parented to the temp. We're going to move the temp. We're going to move the temp layer with the arrow key on your keyboard. Remove it and give it approximately the same spacing that looks about the same. And as you can see, amigos, it preserved basically the movement, the keyframes of it preserved the keyframes of Hulk and Thor. And that's a little trick that I use. Now, once you're done, you can just dis disconnect it, uh, take off the connection from the temp, and you can always leave the temp because we'll use it one more time. And let's make a copy of Hulk and Thor, Control D, holding on to Control and the, the bracket. Let's move these layers up. And let's slide it over. Instead of Hulk, let's switch it to Spider-Man. And instead of Thor, it's Ant-Man. Let's change this color so we can see it. Let's make it peach. And now we're going to use, we're going to select these two and we're going to parent it to the temp. And once again, what we're going to do is using the temp, we're going to basically move them, move them down. Perfect. And once we're done, we can take it out and let's go back to our active camera. Now let's create our camera, go to layer, new camera, and let's make it 35. Let's create a new null object and let's call this move camera. Sometimes creating a new, creating a null object, let's change this color to red, creating a null object, let's make it 3D, a 3D layer and parenting the camera to the null object and just adjusting the position of your null object is the fastest way to animate animate your camera moves. So let's go back to the beginning, this one right here. Let's go back to this one. Now, as you can see, we can change. If you like this size, we can leave it. If you want to change the angle, you can always go back to layer camera settings and you can make it like a wider angle I change it to 28 or you can change it to 24. So I think 24 is cool. And what we're going to do, amigos, is simply put a keyframe for the null object. And let's go all the way down to about 10 seconds. No, I'm sorry, 8 seconds. And all we're going to do is adjust the Z position. Like this. So let's see it. So let's, so it goes in. It goes in like that, and the last one goes in. Perfect. That's all we need. And the last thing we can do, amigos, is be fancy. We can make it, you know, fancier. Put the logos of Iron Man, Black Widow in each one as we go here. Maybe Captain America. Do something cool. You know, you can add more elements. This is this is um, motion graphics now, so you can be very creative. You know, let your imagination go wild. We can add the logo, for example, all the way in the back the Marvel's logo, the Avengers, I'm sorry, the Avengers logo, and let's bring it in, 
and let's make it a 3D layer. Go to your top view. Let's push it all the way here in the back to your active camera. Let's move it up. And we can scale it as for scale. We can scale it up. Maybe we can put some blur on it. Maybe a little bit more. Perfect. And let's do a RAM preview. And here it is, amigos. This is a simple way, but really cool method of doing a video or image montage slideshow. Once you have it set up, it's easy to swap it out and make changes. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you did, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to join the School of Motion Graphics. That is your homework. You'll have this project file available for you to use and download in your very own projects. And amigos, I also have my book on Amazon on how to get started in motion graphics and make money as well in motion graphics. And always stay creative. Let it flow like agua from Managua. We'll see you on the next tutorial.